So introducing Slaughterhouse-Five to my class, my professor described it as, it's this weird mixture genre of science fiction because it has aliens, and then it's kind of a memoir because it deals with Vonnegut's experience as a POW and this bombing of Dresden. Then he continued saying, now you've probably never heard of this bombing of Dresden, but it's this horrible allied attack on Dresden, Germany that killed thousands, hundreds of thousands of people in this little refugee town. And I had just been on a study abroad to Germany, so I was very concerned, I was amazed. I had never heard of this. I needed to learn more. So I started to research. And also in the first couple chapters of the book, Vonnegut is expressing his need for more information. So I felt connected with him. I needed to learn more. So I started to research. And then there were articles printed right after the event in 1943. And they were very biased and they were very extreme in their presentation of this bombing. And so not a lot of information can be discerned from two extremes. And then also in the 60s, there was whole books written about Dresden and they were very inaccurate and very wrong. The most famous being David Irving's book, The Destruction of Dresden, where he famously just added a couple zeros to that end of that victim count, making it larger than it actually was. So for me, I was horrified. How was I supposed to learn about Dresden? How was I supposed to learn about this event if I didn't have any accurate information about it? And I felt that this was also Vonnegut's problem with this book. And so for him, he decided to find truth through story. Slaughterhouse-Five is his truth about Dresden. It is his way of coming to terms with this horrible act. This uh, shows in the book where Billy Pilgrim, Vonnegut's double, is talking with this character of Rumford. And Rumford is basically quoting and is being in this discourse of all these people. And he is qu actually quoting the David Irving book and is citing these inaccurate information. And to this, Billy Pilgrim just says, I want you to know I was there. I want you to know that I was in Dresden. And he says, we don't ever have to talk about it, but I want you to know I was there. And for me, this was Vonnegut's way of setting aside historical fact, saying, listen to me, listen to my story. You can learn truth. You can learn things from stories. And as English majors, I feel like we already know this, but Vonnegut is showing dignity is important, empathy is important, you need to learn these things, and you can learn that in story more than you can learn it in historical fact. Thank you.